Good afternoon, everybody. The Kelt Vapor here, back with another review. Uh, got some new stuff that I wanted to share with you guys, so let's get into it. What we are looking at today is the Bachetto box mod. And I picked this up in Vancouver uh, from my friend Mikhail. Thank you, brother. Um, and uh, this is a box that is made in the Philippines by a gentleman by the name of Nolly Boy Gonzalez. Um, it's a very cool little mod, actually. I'm going to get the light over here so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, this is one of the smallest Camagong boxes that I have ever seen. It is itty bitty tiny, just enough room to fit those two batteries in there. Uh, beautiful wood on both the front and the back. I actually picked a bit of a two tone one here. Uh, so we got a little bit of a different marbling on each one. Uh, one of the neatest little aspects of this box is you can see right down here at the bottom, Bochetto engraved into the wood. Um, I'm going to drop a little bit of juice on this thing so that you guys can see it perform and then I'm going to get into some of what's going on with the actual box itself. And today I am vaping Simple Vapes. Big shout out to my buddy Ryan Reyes for this. This is the Nutty Professor. I have not actually tried this juice before, so this is going to be first impressions on uh, on this juice on camera for the world to see. Damn, that is good. Ryan, nice job, brother. This juice is awesome. All right, let's clear out the fog here a little bit, and we'll get into actually what's going on with this box. Now, the, one of the first things that caught my eye about this box um, when I saw it online was the firing button. And if you guys see here, what we've got there is actually a firing button on a box mod with a lock ring. You can see there is in the locked position down to the fire position. Very cool. That is the first time I've seen that on a box mod. And uh, I have to say that the switch itself is amazing. I love this little thing. Uh, the firing button is gorgeous. Um, nice work, <laughs> Nolly Boy Gonzalez. So here's the inside with the batteries. I'll pop those out so you can take a look. And what we have in here is the insides are all copper uh, and they're rhodium plated. So you can see the rhodium plated top contacts and the rhodium plated copper springs. Um, as we all know, rhodium is super, super conductive. Um, it fires like a beast. Um, yeah, and just like the, the, the way that this thing contacts is absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can see there's a very big wire at the back there. Um, it is completely insulated, which is a really nice touch because when you're vaping at a low, at low ohms, uh, significantly sub ohm, things tend to heat up. I've had a couple of box mods where that wire started to get hot. Uh, I have stress tested this pretty thoroughly over the last couple of days and I have not found it getting hot at all. Uh, it is very well insulated. Now the only downside of that is that I've had issues trying to get my EFES batteries to fit in it. Uh, EFES batteries have a bit of a thicker wrap on them, therefore I can't get the door completely closed on this using EFES. So VCTs it is. And the VCTs fit rather nicely. I get everything back in there and close it up. So altogether, my impressions on this box mod so far, um, it fires like a beast. Uh, the finishing on this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's got a floating 510 pin. Um, all the little nicks and, nooks and crannies that I look for in a box mod, they have achieved on this. And with the addition of this uh, completely mechanical firing switch, uh, that's a very cool addition. Um, you know, I've never, actually fired a box mod when it's in my pocket or in a bag or anything like that. But 
you know, it's a nice option to have uh, just in case that situation does arise. Um, so yeah, when you've got it locked off, boom, 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 you can't fire it, nothing happens. And you just open her up, game on. So, if any of you guys out there are looking at box mods, and you have the opportunity to get your hands on the Bichetto, can thoroughly recommend it. It's a great box mod, hits beautifully, uh, it looks attractive, the switch is great. Uh, just don't try to use E-Fests in it or anything with a thick wrap. Get yourself some VTC4s, thinner wrap, fit in, no problem. Uh, until later, this is the Kel Vapor signing off. Nice job, Nolly Boy Gonzalez. Well done. Shout out to Ryan Reyes for the juice. This stuff is awesome, brother. Uh, looking forward to trying the other one here. I've got, uh, what do I got? Nutty Professor and Dragon's Lair. And I'm looking forward big time to trying that other one. Um, Nolly Boy, Ryan, all the vapors out there, check out the Pachetto Box Mod. It's a really nice little piece of hardware, a nice addition to any collection. Until later, I'll talk to you guys in a bit.